Hello all of you. Welcome back to the new session for this jungle tutorial. So this is the third section. So we are going to check it out using Ajax code and searching for product based on the product ID. So that's the important thing we are going to discuss in these sections. So for this session we have here v2 version so first you have to download this v2 version so already we did for v1 and the first one so v2 is downloaded this is only 2 mb file it will download faster i'm copying this and pasting in my django directory so this is the django directory so next is i'm opening my editor i'm using vlc editor here so you can use your own editor like anaconda like sqlite vlc code notepad plus anything you can use so first i need to open project for that open folder i give it here nothing is not there because it's an unzip version so here we have to extract here so that is extracted then inside vlc code what you have to do is file open folder and you have to specify that folder this is the folder select this folder so this is the folder here we have metro is the name of the folder and metro shop is the application actually this is the app and metro is the project so inside that we have files so let's start with url we know that this is a model view controller so here what will happen is here with this is the code we have added sales bill when you will type in url sales bill it will redirect to the page views sales bills so you have to open views inside the views we having sales bill function so it will automatically call sales bill function and to request for sale bill html page so this uh, sale bill html page will be there in the templates here this is the page so here we have a form product id this all html so we know that it's basic html so here we are being form input field and other details so let me check it out how it is working so when you type url inside the urls sale bill it will call that html page so here to run this so for running we know that nh.py run server still this server is running now you have to type 127.1.8 this is a home page and here i am going to specify the path here we have path sales bill and copying this and pasting here sales bill. so it will automatically call this its name page whatever we have there sales bill dot html is calling this page extras product page so this is that text search form here this is that text search form inspect it you can see that 
this is that page with the text search so what will happen is we have a function on key up it will call a function get batch number so this is what happening so it will call get batch number so inside the javascript we having so inside the template we are having javascript static js main.js this is the file here we have a function called get page data you can search it there so yeah i'll show you get batch number this is a function actually to this function get batch number what it is doing is it will check that product and it will pass to url ajax called product bill id with product id so this call will take you to the url path again so here is the actual call is happening this is actually ajax call you can use jquery only here we having javascript used so javascript ajax call is there so you you're passing url and you are requesting that url with get method because product id we are passing as get method so automatically it will call the urls we having url here ajax call product bill id here this is that it will call this product bill id views inside view we having product bill id if you come down you can see that otherwise you can search and product bill id so it will get the data from pid that is a pid we are passing pid as product name and we have a model product or model and we will check for the matching of that and it will get the exact result so we having main.js i said already get product bill id pid p and we have in getting all the datas quantity tax product all this thing from product models we have a model here inside the model we have a product model so product model actually it's a collection of tables profile update user product model here product id is there with the character field primary key product name product description product price and product tax whatever you can add not a deal deal so next is in admin side we have admin side also here this the django basic admin side already we discussed in the last videos if you have any doubt regarding admin login and all you can check it out that so here we have the basic of dashboard django administrator dashboard this is a basic dashboard so we have to get that product module there means you have to use open admin.py and you have to type metroshop model import product this metroshop is actually in app name this is a project name inside the project it will import the product actually it is imported from the model we have so and it will register there so let's see we are going to refresh it see product module came here so you can add new product as product id patient paint dot
price for 4500 tax top percentage and we are going to save this we create a new product there so next here we type asia see this product is coming here right so this is using autocomplete when i type this see the top it will call automatically get batch number and all data will be filled there so how this auto search is working we'll search, check it out here we have input type text search so inside the js you have main chart js I will copy that I think you have to copy the text search name okay, I am pasting that see here we have jQuery autocomplete it will call Ajax search and the data will be stored there so again inside we having URL here this is a URL this is Ajax called search it will search for autocomplete model inside the view it will call for autocomplete model with that search term so for example if I type type or again I'll show you if I type ASI ASI it's much is displaying right whenever I'm doing this ASI it will search for ASI with the help of autocomplete and whatever the result is coming with ASI here actually is product name start with ASI from product model so here we have important model all ASI starting with product name it will display here product name is ASI starting so here we are giving going to give product name Shalima paint save here I am searching for it's coming Shalima paint if I search for Asia only two are coming now right we have because we changed that third one to shallow one so if you type SHA it's coming this so after clicking this it will call this and get the price quantity all this if here we are can increase the quantity so this is what happening when we are using Ajax So what will happen is Ajax autocomplete source we have given search minimum like this too at least we have to type to the character so it will automatically call this URL autocomplete model then it will check it out is Ajax request and get that value and search from the product module here product object filter products name start with the, this is actually the query parameter whatever the value we are typing if you type SHA it will go SHA so whatever the result is coming it will display that accordingly so this is what is coming here if I type Asian it's coming if I type pain
So if you type, actually it's search with the first word only, that we can change for you. So hope you understood how it's happening. So after that, if I select Asian paint, see on you have here function get patch number on focus or on key up when the key is taken it will automatically submit to here and the data is filled actually it's calling from main.js here it is calling i'll show that again It's actually get batch number it is calling. With Ajax product. Product ID. So this is exactly what product ID is there. Product bill ID it will call. And from the view. What are there in the. Product bill ID it will show. So actually it will call Ajax bill ID product bill ID. So inside the URL. Same like whatever we are doing. It will call the view it will come here and to search for view product bill id function inside the view product bill id function you will define product bill id function then whatever the pid to capitalize and product name is exactly so we need the exact value of that paint for example if i give if i'm selecting this we have id is passing and what are the value of id automatically pass in there and the result product name product id product price this details we are fetching and displaying here product price product name quantity so this one happening Hope you will understood this. So here we have wide map out section. So let's see in next section. If you have any doubt, you can comment it out so that I'll come up with answer so that you can go to the next level. So hope you will understood how it will happen. So you can download this full structure from the link i have this link i share in the description section so that you can click this link and download from here you just one click it's only a 2 mb file it will not take so much time to automatically download after that it will be moved here and we can do that right so here is a migration idea right this is a product migration profile and you say this is the last migration we did so I'll open and show you that here we have migration section this is the product migration so here we have discount product ID product name product discount product price and product tax so if you want anything extra you can add it in the model and you can migrate it so hope you'll understood thank you for listening to me see you in the next topic session